Hello and welcome to another episode of the System Slayer. Today we're going to be continuing our GitLab CI series and we're going to be looking into how to configure your GitLab runners so that they can work across multiple projects. A prerequisite for this video would be episode 2 of this very same series where I go into how to install and configure GitLab runner in detail. In this video we're just going to be looking into how to use it across multiple projects. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and pop open our browser and go into GitLab, which we are here now. The way we are going to achieve runners across multiple projects is actually through groups, which is what you see right here. Groups are basically a way to essentially group a bunch of projects into a single group. And then from there, we can actually make uh, configuration changes to the group. And then those changes are inherited by the projects. So what we will do is create a group and we will enable a runner on that group. And then from there, any project that is within that group will be able to take advantage of that runner. So let's go ahead and create our very first group. Let's go ahead and type in a name here. Let's go ahead and take the suggestion, my awesome group. And it went ahead and gave us a group URL. It doesn't really matter too much as long as it's unique. For the purposes of this video, this works just fine. So let's leave it as private, I'll leave everything else the same and create the group. Now we have our group here. From there, let's go ahead and go into the settings and CICD section of the group so that we can um, start configuring our runner stuff. Let's expand the runner section. First of all, let's go ahead and turn off shared runners because we don't want to use the runners that um, GitLab provides for us. We just want to go ahead and use our own. Let's copy the registration token. And then from there, let's pop open a terminal window. Now I already have GitLab runner installed. So all I have to do is configure it. Again, I go into detail about all this registration stuff and the installation of GitLab Runner in general in episode two of this series. So be sure to check that out if you have any questions. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly configure this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as gitlab.com for the URL. From there, I'm gonna paste my token. I'm gonna type in group for the description, no tags. I'm gonna type in Docker for the executor and the image, I'm gonna use the same image I used in the other video. And from there, we are all set up. Let's go ahead and go back into our project. Let's refresh this page. And if we scroll down, we should see now that we have a group runner. And here it is, all set up. So we're good to go. From there, what we want to do is either add some existing projects to this group or just go ahead and create a new group within the project. I'm going to go ahead and create a new group within the project just to make things really simple, but I will also show you how to add projects to the group later. So let's go ahead and go back to the group overview page and hit new project. Create a blank project. I'm going to leave this as test project. Everything else should be okay. Let's go ahead and click create project. Now we have this project within uh, our group. Before we start messing around with our project, let's go ahead and look at the project CICD settings. Let's expand the runner section. Make sure that shared runners are turned off. And if we actually scroll down, we should see that group runners are actually enabled already. So we're good to go. If you see this little exclamation point here, it's okay. Uh, it should go ahead and resolve itself as long as your runner is online. From there, let's go back into the project overview. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a quick GitLab CI file to this project so that you can see that it goes ahead and takes advantage of the group runners. Let's click on new file. Upload. Let's go ahead and select our GitLab CI file. Now let me minimize my window for some reason. It won't let me see the buttons, but let's click the button here. GitLab CI, let's go ahead and commit. And uh, it has been committed. If you take a look at the file, all it has is a quick test stage. And within the test stage, it just has a quick echo statement simulating our test uh, script. Let's go back to the project main page. I will maximize my window again. Then let's go ahead and go to the CICD page. And from there we see we have a new pipeline that was triggered by our new GitLab CI file. Now you might see this uh, stuck and you might see this exclamation point stuff here again. Don't worry too much about that as long as your runner is online This should go ahead and resolve itself in a little bit. Let's go ahead and go into the job itself So as you can see after waiting a little while GitLab eventually detected that There was a GitLab runner available for this project and the issue resolved itself 
the test job went ahead and uh, executed and now here we have the, the execution of the test job and as you can see we have the log of it worked meaning that our test or our little sample test script actually went ahead and executed and we are good to go. So from this point on, this project is correctly set up to take advantage of the group runners and we can continue to add more projects to the group and they will be able to take advantage of the GitLab runner that we have on that group. One last thing I want to go ahead and show you is actually how to go ahead and add an existing project to the group. So let's go ahead and do that. We've already seen how to create a new project within the group. So what we will do now is actually go to our projects and we will go to a project that is not within the group. So this would be one like that. Let's click on that. And if we actually go down to the settings and go to the general section, and from there, if we scroll down to advanced and expand that, we will find a section here called uh, transfer project. All you have to do is click on the drop down and you would find your new group here. So you would then be able to click on the new group and then hit transfer project. And then your project would now be within that group. And then all you would have to do is go into the project CICD settings and to make sure that group runners are enabled for the project and you'd be good to go. So that's it. Now you know how to configure a group runner and utilize that same runner across multiple projects. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. Thanks again for stopping by and see you next time. Slayer out.